The fire is threatening thousands of homes in the Sierra. Now, the fire exploded in size overnight. The Oak Fire has become one of California's largest wildfires of the year. Thousands of people are evacuated. The fire has shut off power to more than 2,000 homes and businesses. Fire broke out near the town of Mid Pines in Mariposa County on Friday, and since then, the blaze has grown to more than 14,000 acres. There is no containment. This fire comes as firefighters make progress in the Washburn fire burning in the southernmost part of the park. Right. Darrow's Bob takes us to the Red Cross Evacuation Center at Mariposa Elementary, where about 60 people are waiting. I just worry, you know, for, for people, you know, because you can look in here and see all these people, you know, I mean, I, I know they want to be home. Over 30 years ago, Army veteran Richard G. Perez married his wife. Never did he think he would spend his anniversary on a cot at Mariposa Elementary, wondering if his house burned to the ground. A lot of memories, you know. My family grew up there, my kids, and uh, I don't know, just sad. The cot to the left of Perez for Emmanuel Scudder. Two years ago, Scudder on a ventilator and in a coma with COVID. After he survived, he and his wife decided to move to their dream home in Mariposa. This is the first time ever in my life being evacuated, so, so this is kind of different. You know, a lot of anxiety. On the drive to the Red Cross Evacuation Center, the rising plume of smoke, a reminder of the relentless oak fire, burning hot and spreading fast. Yeah, it was scary. The inferno creeping up on thousands of buildings and tearing through several homes. As firefighters race to contain the blaze, Scudder and Perez patiently wait on their cots. The two fearful but grateful their family and pets got out alive. <laughs> well, the main thing was family and, and our pets. Everything else is replaceable. And uh, that's what I'm, you know, what I care about. We have been blissfully unaware what's going on on the other side of the state. Because while we've actually been below average for the last week, They've not only been above average where that fire took off outside Yosemite, but it actually does fall within that deep shade of red, and the scale over there shows you it's the top of the percentile, meaning it's the highest on record. The hottest temperatures, median, when you take lows and highs over the last seven days of the last 40-some-odd years. So that does play into why the Oak Fire was able to take off as dramatically as it did. Speaking of which, over the last hour now, it's kind of taken off a little more. You can see there's a little white blip that shows up there in the satellite imagery. That's that cloud deck going into a pyrocumulus for a brief period of time where it really starts to burst higher into the atmosphere and develop a cloud over it. So it's putting out a lot more smoke, and that also says the intensity of the fires picked up within the last hour or so. And we've been seeing it do that for the last... 48 hours now, on again, off again. So what does that mean here at home in terms of any impacts from the smoke? Well, remembering deep red and purple on here show you the higher concentration of smoke. Let's play it forward. And we'll let this go to Monday, but more importantly, Tuesday morning. And watch what happens as we get to Tuesday. We're going to start to see the winds in the atmosphere shift enough that whatever smoke is still coming off that fire, we've got every reason to believe by Tuesday it'll still be a pretty decent smoke producer. The atmosphere is going to start bringing it our way. Now, most of it's going to be elevated in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but we have another way of looking at this. Rather than looking at the entire column of the atmosphere, let's look at what matters most, and that would be the smoke at the lowest levels. And it's a better story here. The majority of that smoke is going to be contained and confined to the Sierra. So what this means is we're going to see it. The skies will look hazy. We'll probably get some dramatically colored sunrises and sunsets, particularly on Tuesday. There is an air quality advisory that the Bay Area Air Quality Management District has put out for that. For the heads up, we should be uh, at least aware the smoke's coming our way. It doesn't look like a major inundation, but we'll have to watch it because these things can be unpredictable. And we've had more than our fair share of smoke over the last several years.